We're joined by someone you all know, a plant mom, a superstar actress, a superhero, but let's see if she can also be a chef. Introducing my friend, Brie. How are you doing? Oh, uh, yes. Hi. Yes, I'm good. You're, you're not nervous. You've done no, this no, before. No, no, totally not. All right, round of applause. Thank Three you. Lives. Thank you so much. Come Bye. on. Thank you. Look at that. So last time we were together, we were not in person. This is actually in the flesh. We uh, we made veggie crunch wraps of cream. That's right. Yours were extremely good. I was pretty shocked by the quality of your craftsmanship. Well, thank you. It actually completely fell apart, but I appreciate that. We can pretend like it went well. Link in the description. Yeah. Smash that. Do people still say smash that like? I don't want you to. <laughs> It's no secret that you have a million talents, and I feel like not enough people know that you're actually a great cook. This is sort of like a challenge, cook along kind of thing. We're making chicken parm heroes. I'm gonna be here to cook it along with you, but with one twist. Gentlemen, please bring it in. Do you know corn doesn't exist without human intervention? I actually did know that. Oh. Are you doing the thing where like, you're talking to me to make me feel comfortable? Thanks. You won't be able to see me, but you can follow my voice, follow my movements, ima or imagine what they look like. Oh, what movements am I gonna follow? Your feet? <laughs> Jesus. As we're making this, try and get as close as possible to what I'm making without being able to see it. And I think you have the power to do that. Yes. So let's begin. I'm scared, okay. You have a pot, you have a bunch of mise en place in front of you. I have a pot? Do you have a pot? Got a little sauce pot, get a little induction, olive oil, just a couple tablespoons. Got a little bit of That's bacon fine. in front of you. you. Slice those into sort of quarter inch little pieces. Strips? Yeah, little strips. No, lasagna. I'm slicing this the wrong way. You're saying slice it short, like the short side. Into it. like little batons. Is that? Like a little baton. Once your bacon's chopped, that's gonna go in your pot. I'm gonna crank that up to medium, give it a little stir, coat it in the olive oil, it'll release its own fat. It should be quite a bit, because what it'll do is it'll emulsify the tomatoes. So just kind of stir it around, let that cook. This is gonna cook just for a few minutes. While that's going, you should see a few garlic cloves in front of you. How do you feel about your knife skills? Scale of one to 10. 10 being like, I can outpace you. 100%. 10. No, 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 100% you can outpace me, not 100%. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna go with a solid seven. Oh, okay. Do I think too highly of myself? So once all your garlic is sliced. Or I'm almost there. Really? Yeah. How's that possible? Oh my God, I'm slow. Sliced. Oh, this is gonna be a challenge. Toss that in with your bacon. This is what I like to call, oh my God, it smells so good in here, starter pack. Mm. Bacon, garlic, mm. olive oil. Beautiful red Fresno chili. So I see. really easy to break down. Pop that onto your board. Cut, cut the, the top off. off and then a little bit of the tip. And then you're gonna cut down the side of it and around and almost sort of unfold it. Cut those sheets into little thin strips. You're then gonna cut across that to get nice little cubes. All right, so red Fresno chili diced, little bit of salt to draw out that water. For that, toss that, looking lovely. You're gonna add about a teaspoon of your red pepper flake, a bouquet garni of thyme, whole thing, branches and all. I have no idea what's happening. Your crushed tomatoes, which will go directly in, all of it. San Marzano, proper Italian. The whole thing? The whole thing. Okay, good, because I already did it. So salt goes in, stir that together, let that emulsify, okay. let it simmer and reduce. Nice, soft, soft. light simmer. It's a no stress simmer. It should be whispering to you. This pesto is not beloved by the Italians. We're making a controversial pesto? We're making a controversial pesto. Garlic, all of it. Not all your pine nuts, but just a couple handfuls. A little sprinkle of salt, all of your basil. We should have brought some stuff from your garden. That would have I been know. Fun. How's the zucchini farm going? It's pretty epic, actually. I'll buy like two succulents and they're like, oh, you can't kill these. And then in three weeks, they're dead. Really? Dead. I'm sorry for your loss. You're gonna add just a splash of water. The water is just there to help loosen it. Low speed, a little bit of water. Yeah! I put too much water. While it's blending, yeah. stream in about three tablespoons of olive oil. I added too much water. I just screwed myself. Oh, oh my God. Win? Am I gonna win I'm, this challenge? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Olive oil in. I went way too hard on the water. Is yours nice and thick and emulsified? Sort of, kind of? Yeah. Yeah. We both made a mistake today, it's fine. It's gonna taste good and I have a remedy, I think. Empty bowl. You're gonna add all your mayo, a half cup roughly. If it's very liquidy, go with a couple tablespoons of that. And that'll thin out the mayo into a nice sort of vibrant green sauce. You should end up sort of like a pastel green. Season it, add your pesto. How are you feeling about these almonds? Looking good? Yes. Wait, did you say about these almonds? I don't have almonds. Did I say almonds? Oh, about all of this? All of this. All of this, oh God. We have okay. chives. Pop that down on your board. I know chives don't seem like something that belong in a chicken parm and they don't. But I do what I want. So you're gonna slice your chives very, very, very thin. So my chives are sliced. You don't need to yeah, slice all of them. Just, too. just half. How is, how is she moving so quick? Get your mozzarella, and to your mozzarella, you'll see a little bit of fine grated parmigiano. I do you see that? Sprinkle that in there. All of it. We like it cheesy. 
toss it together. Did you see that that heist where these dudes stole $25,000 of Parmigiano Reggiano? No. Put it back. How, wait, wait. Put it what? back. What? How much cheese is that? A wheel? Uh, nothing to see here, gentlemen. Baguette. Oh, merci. Cut it right in half. Do you prefer your sandwiches to be fully open? Hold on. Oh wow, you've got like a power stance. I had, to ha I had to change my stance. That's like a Bulgarian split squat 100%. stance. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad you saw that. I just learned what that is. Oh. Started working out. You could outlift me. I don't think so. Very easily. So we're gonna split this in half. Like a thicker top? Ooh, that's a really good question. I go half and half. You know, some people prefer a thicker bottom, lighter top, I higher top, lighter bottom. Twitter's the... gonna go nuts with these quotes. I know, oh my God. Enjoy. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh no, I just felt really good to cut the bread all the way through. Oh my God. If I cut myself, I'm not gonna go. <sighs> all that's left to do, bread our chicken, fry it and assemble. You have three bowls, one with flour, one with panko and one with egg in a small bowl. So those two eggs, crack it in. Tell me a little bit about how you crack your eggs. That's a very good question, counter always. If I'm cracking two at a time, cause I can do two at a time. Um, I'll use the side of the bowl because it's the only way I can get my thumb in there, unfortunately. Okay, so those are these quotes, man. So salt to the salt. flour mixture. Take a piece of chicken and you're going to lay that down on your cutting board. And with your knife, kind of cut it in half, open it up, kind of like a book. Press it out with the palm of your hand, get it nice and flat. That's fine. What's wrong with it? All right, so once the chicken's all pounded out. Oh. So you're first gonna go into your flour, give it a little dip, shake off the excess, gently lay it in your egg wash, flip it, get it nice and coated every side, immediately. Oh, I'm just, you know what? I'm just gonna split these. Into your panko. How much experience do you have frying stuff? I have experience. That's good. Okay. Grab it with two hands, just sort of daintily, like you're picking up a, a little funny hat. This is how I'd pick up a funny <laughs> hat. I don't know. Drop it in and then lay it away from you. Look at that, Vic, come on. Look at that. I mean, chicken have I ever seen one. Tomato sauce is ready, get all your accoutrement ready. Get your sliced chives, your so. I think my chicken's done. Carefully remove your chicken. Let it drain just a little bit and hit it with a light sprinkling. Salt, a salt? Lime. How are you feeling? How's it look? Let's get your sauce on there. Yes. You, can, you can go as generous or light as you want. I like it saucy. Sauce is like the heart of anything good. You're scared, you had a nightmare, but then that, that blanket wraps you. You can fall back asleep. That is sauce. To the chicken. Okay. Sauce on, the, on its own. Sauce directly on the chicken. Pick your cheese. Get a nice generous mound on there. Mound it up. <gasps> you pop yours in the broiler and I'll use the torch to make oh, it simple. I see it. Broiler, don't fail me now. All right, so you're in there and you're broiling. I'm in there and I'm broiling apparently. Yeah, yeah. Ooh la la. So why am I nervous? Take your bottom half. You're gonna add a piece of your lovely chicken. Sprinkle generously. Are you snacking over there? No. You're out of here, kid. Chives directly onto your chicken and then your top bun, also known as the crown. Slowly, beautifully lowered. Create a beautiful chicken parm I mean, look sando. At We're done. You've done it. How do you feel? I want to eat it. Cut it on a bias. I'm scared. I've come this far. And I'm so sorry, Jeff. So you can plate it however you want. Like that, boom, chicken parm. Culmination of our work. Covered, can't see mine, I can't see yours. Let's move the curtain. All right, so we're back. How do you feel? Yeah, I like to do this. We have our two plates. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do you feel? Somewhere between good and bad. That's like, okay. Yeah, I'd like to just play it cool. This is the most insecure I've ever felt because you're the fastest guest we've ever had. Wow. Nobody's been able to actually keep up with me and you did. Are you ready? Wow! What? You put, is... How did your sandwich stand up like this? Are you an architect? Wow, this looks great. Look at these chives, evenly sliced. The chicken looks great. Go for you it. Would go. <gasps> I oh. never knew a sandwich could be this way. We're ready to taste, but you're gonna taste mine and I'm gonna taste yours. I want your harshest criticism. You're the critic today. You know, maybe I get my Michelin star today. I don't know. Free Michelin star. A Michelin star. Oh, wow. Yo. Chef, this tastes good. This is incredibly good. Like, I'm actually blown away by how good this is. It's just seasoned perfectly. I can't believe this. Balanced with the richness of the sauce. Chicken's crispy. It's cooked exactly the way it should be. Beautifully juicy. If I got this sandwich, I'd pay 25 bucks for it. You're overpaying for a sandwich. What's in it, gold? <laughs> this tastes like this. Okay, thank you. I will take it. It's the best day of my life. I love this sandwich. Super crispy, while also juicy and tender on the inside. I love the choice of bread. And I will say, the chive. Unexpected and needed. Wow, incredibly done, beautifully done. She kept up with me, she made the sandwich beautifully, it's assembled nicely, it comes down to what is delicious for you. Anyone can cook, if Brie Larson can do it, so can you. This okay. is true. Superhero, I think you're, you've earned the title of chef at this point. Thank you, chef, thank you. It's there, take it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.